Definitely another ACC game. We're trying to win. We're just trying to stop them on top of each other. Um, definitely, of course, you know, there's going to be bragging, bragging rights. Uh, NC State, uh, North Carolina teams. Uh, it's just uh, growing up as a North Carolina kid, these are the type of games that you dream about that um, you just wait your whole life to compete in. And that's exactly what we're going to do is compete. Have you ever played at the Smith Center before? I believe that I have. Um, probably my freshman or sophomore year, uh, I went and played pickup with the team. Um, so that was probably my first time playing. Um, so this is the yeah, second, second time. Do you have to tell your teammates what, what this rivalry is about, those, those players who maybe are from out of state? Absolutely not. <laughs> Everybody knows. Um, and it's just, just when you become a part of NC State, uh, you become a part of a family. Um, and you just, you, you, you basically um, hone in or, you know, you accept what it is, what the rivalry is, and um, every, everybody knows, it, it, you know, it goes without, without saying, you know, yeah. Greg, did it feel like you had to wait forever to, to get back on the court, to be able to play the way you're playing now? And did you have, ever have doubts that maybe that wasn't gonna happen for you? Um, it, it definitely took a while, um, and it was definitely hard on me. But um, honestly, I would just say I kept my faith high the entire time. Um, I knew that you know it wouldn't rain forever, and I knew that if I put in the work, that you know I told myself that I wouldn't be denied. You know, so just every day, just putting in that work and stacking days on top of each other, brick by brick. You know, um, you know, I, I just only believe that positive things will happen. To win four straight ACC games, a number of things have to go right. What, what do you like the most about the way the team has played? Um, honestly, every game that we won this month, I felt like we were supposed to win. Um, honestly, this hasn't been a surprise to me. Uh, I, I believe that we had four losses, but I think that we could easily have two losses. Um, maybe even undefeated. Honestly, I, I, the whole offseason, I just been around this group and I understood the type of collection of guys that we had. So any game that we win is really not a surprise. I honestly felt like um, we should have won all these games, um, maybe even by more than what we did because, um, you know, we didn't play perfect. But uh, honestly, we're just getting better. And you know, I think uh, the healthier we get, um, the more you guys will be able to see that. Does it make it even more exciting heading into a rivalry game, playing the way you guys are with all this momentum? And that's, I mean, you know people are talking about this game more than maybe they have in the past. I mean, how exciting is that? Definitely. I, I definitely do think it's uh, very exciting just because we have a lot of guys in the locker room that um, carry a, a big chip on their shoulder. And uh, this is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we thrive in. Um, being on the road, you know, rivalry team, you know, you, four game winning streak. And we're not even really um, so much worried about the winning win streak because we keep it game by game. But um, these are the guys who, who I would want to go in there and battle with. All these guys that just play with um, a certain amount of energy and dog and, and it makes it, like it's honestly infectious. The energy that's out there on the court is infectious and it, it makes it fun. Is there, is there a dislike for those guys? Um, I, I wouldn't say that just because, uh, I mean, it's, it's the history uh, more so than us, uh, you know, right now uh, against their players. I wouldn't say it's like the hate for them, but it's definitely um, us representing for all um, the Wolfpack and the guys who came ahead of us. It's, it's our job to go in there and get that job done. So you, we carry that on us. You talk about a chip on the shoulder. Why is there a chip on you guys' shoulder? Right? Just, just I, I feel like it's a respect factor. Um, I think our resume speaks for itself. Um, you know, I believe that, uh, say our jerseys were blue instead of red, I don't think that there um, would be any question about um, what our ranking would be or how people would talk about us. But, you know, it's it's something that, you know, we feel like um, we have to go out and grab is respect. And we know it's not going to be given to us. And we understand that. And we um, accepted that a long time ago. So this is um, just another, another brick added to that house.
I guess the only way to get it that respect is winning and winning against teams like this and like Duke and, and Virginia and those kind of teams, right? Exactly, exactly right. You got to win, and um, that's been the whole mindset. That's been the whole goal. Uh, the entire offseason, the entire year is about winning um, because, you know, of course, we're not going to be perfect um, in basketball games. Things happen, mistakes happen, injuries happen, uh, and we all understand that. It's always been the next man up mentality, and at the end of the day, you know, you're only going to get respect if you win, none, none of that other stuff. Can you explain how this team has continued to improve even though you're missing a couple of key guys, two starters, really? Um, just a credit to our coaching staff credit to Coach Keats. Um, they're really the guys we have in the locker room because we have an older group. And um, I came in actually into college uh, around a lot of older guys as a freshman and they talked a lot of wisdom into me. And um, I didn't really understand a lot of the things that they said um, coming in about how hard winning was and how I'm um, dialed into the details that you, ha you have to be. And now that I am more of a veteran player and I played, um, I have a lot more basketball under my belt um, it's uh, more clear um, to understand what they were trying to get me to understand. And just the guys in the locker room, they understand those exact things that um, you have to dial into the details to win. So, um, yes, we um, had to overcome some adversity with some injuries, but, you know, luckily we've had guys who've uh, played a lot of basketball and um, know the game. So, you know, I think there's a lot of things that you can make up for just with effort. So effort and focus. You've obviously you've gone through a lot the last four years. Who are some people that you've really leaned on? People who have helped you out, whether in high school or at Providence or at NC State. Um, mainly my family. Um, you know, as you all probably know, you know, I lost my mother my freshman year of college. Um, but you know, she didn't leave me alone. Uh, she left me uh, with three beautiful women, my sisters, and um, they just they they're my queens. And any time that I'm down or need, um, you know, just I'm not even reassuring, just need a shoulder or just need an ear, um, they're there for me. Um, they, they've seen me grow into the man that I am and um, they understand and they're honestly just like an extension of my mother. Um, I, I feel that love, I feel that energy when I talk to them. So, uh, you know, they're a phone call away. And um, I have a sister here that lives in Raleigh as well. Uh, so uh, my family's been, been big, and that was one of my main reasons about um, wanting to come back closer to home, and just just uh, to feel that love, and you know, to kind of just give my family the opportunity um, to you know see me play. Uh, I was very far away, so um, definitely my, my sisters. What what must go right for you all to uh, win this game tomorrow? When you look at Carolina, they got all all the things they bring out there. I think we should just follow our recipe to success. Um, up to this point, you know, uh, our pressure have uh, overwhelmed people. Uh, we have uh, bucket getters. Um, honestly, I feel like we have uh, everything on this team uh, to be successful. Um, I think that uh, that's is exactly what, you know, just continue to follow things that um, we've done uh, to be successful up to this point and just don't change anything. Um, I mean, we understand uh, it might be a little bit of a bigger game just from a, you know, uh, bragging and rights rivalry standpoint, but, um, you know, we follow the same plan, um, same, you know, shoot around, same preparation. Um, and I think that, you know, if we do that, then we can come out victorious. Could you just speak to the camaraderie, chemistry you have with the other front court players, um, Ross, Burns, and those guys? What's it like working with them? Um, man, uh, it's honestly a joy uh, being around those guys every day because, um, you know, we all uh, enjoy each other's company off the court. So um, it, it's, it's basically the an extension of that on the court, you know, um, when a guy is open or uh, when a guy is, uh, is doing well, uh, playing well, we're all like genuinely excited for each other, you know, um, and uh, just playing with a guy like DJ is he draws so much attention. So he just makes the game so much easier for you. And he's one of the most unselfish uh, players that I've ever been around. So um, it's just honestly been a joy playing around those guys.